I'm gonna just be making a random belt that I found. I'm gonna be using it to build a new blade harbor oath that isn't so new anymore. Not much to trail, so I'm just gonna skip past this real quick. I tried recording this earlier, but um, I ended up going the wrong talents. Nothing too interesting happened anyway. I just got jumped a few times. Oh nah. Like, how did I know? Ganking freshies, bro, like you're weird. See that? <laughs> well honestly the only reason why i'm making this a progression is because i can't like oh my god bro i'm gonna tweak out if i keep having to make this build over and over and over again with nothing to keep me sane bro like i think i'm just gonna break my keyboard at this point also usually i would just make my own build but i don't feel like stressing out on the builder this time so i just looked up a high strength build for um one reason in particular I know this before, but when you have true strength going, it doesn't just turn the oath mantras into a uh, dismantle, but any mantra that like brings you into the air gets modified as well. And the reason why I need to go high strength is because I want to see if that works with um, Sky Shatter Kick as well with the round spark on it. So the build I'm going to be using for this that did actually have Sky Shatter Kick is this one. Probably just going to leave it on screen. Only downside is I know for sure I'm gonna have to use Shrine of Chance, I think, the one where you can get other get different talents. Cause there's a talent I need to get that I won't be able to on a level up. So I need a shrine and get it. And usually when I'm going builds with high willpower, I leave it at 80 just so I can meet the requirements for um Heretic Sutra. But on the build I'm using they went 85 for shared misery which i'm not too sure why i'm gonna do it since they did but as cool as the talent sounds i'm not sure why you want to be making other people go insane when they also have high willpower or at least a good majority of strong builds do because they also go heretic sutra so that part kind of i don't understand too much but i'm also going to be getting mantras that i don't actually need just so i have the ability to roll them later because they are very, not like too specific, but I have a vague idea of what mantras I want to go for. And I don't know if I'll have enough whisper rules to get them all. I won't end up meeting the requirements for most of them up until late in the build. I know most progression videos end up using Voidwalker just to have some kind of entertaining content, but that's really just not me. I don't know if I ever do one in the future, but it just... Voidwalker just never sat right with me. Like you just go to people that are minding their business and jump them. A lot of the time they're on a PVE so they can't even fight back anyway. It just seems really corny to me. I don't know. That's not to hate on any Voidwalkers, even though I quite literally hate every single one of you. That's not my thing. That's not my thing. So if that's the kind of progression videos you're into, you're, you're out of luck. Also, a lot of y'all been the same. I need to stop mumbling in my videos. And bro. I don't know how many times I have to say it. I'll leave it in the description. I'll leave it in the video itself. The reason why I be doing that, I don't even be mumbling for real. I just talk quietly. But I guess that's that's what mumbling is. A lot of the time I record these videos really late at night. So I'm just I'm just trying not to I'm trying not to be too loud. You know, it's nighttime. I gotta stay quiet. But also back on that void walker thing. I get jumped so often anymore, it's not even funny. So regardless of if I get void walker or not. Even the NPCs, bro. Regardless of whether or not I go Voidwalker, I'm gonna like end up fighting people regardless. So for some reason, it's always some random max level sweat that ends up jumping me, bro. Like in the clip I showed earlier, it's always some monkey that has fully fully procced oath, a bell, high high requirement weapon that takes a bar of my HP per M1. It's always something stupid like that. If it's literally anyone else, like if it's a Void Walker my level, then I could probably just fight them for real. Also, why did they give all the cat girls beards, bro? Like it's so. 
so stupid. Like I have two of them in my guild base for some reason. But they both have that stupid mustache. It looks so annoying, man. Also, I don't usually farm at Aresia. I usually just go straight to Song Seeker or Hive or something. But the reason why I'm here is because the golems in uh, Burning Stone Garden, I think. They're actually really good for farming strength for some reason. I'm going to just stick around here for a little bit. And also, they added that new talent recently. I forgot what it was called and what it did. I just remember the requirements was like 25 for both strength and agility. And it seemed good when I was reading it. I remember it being high. Actually, wait, before I level up my strength, I need to get to 85 so I can get Shred Misery. Oh, I need this. This also gives HP, which is the only reason I went 45 intelligence instead of just the 40 for all the dead gods. Bro, Eureka, I swear, I don't know if it doesn't work or if they just nerfed it really bad. I remember back in verse 1 when Agamonsu used it. These freaking rodents. I remember in verse 1 when Agamonsu used it. He pretty much got all his ether back. I can't show myself being here for, well, what, 80 something strength points I'm gonna be here for. Because then I'm just running out of scourge. It's getting kind of. Dang, bro. It's getting kind of crowded here. I might just turn the pose even here. Use this. Yo, these are actually nice, man. Thank you. Picked up Stepfather's left. Actually the best mod from the game. Hey, watch this, ready? So satisfying, man. Stepfather is Fury. Let's go. This talent, I swear, is so useless. I don't think it does anything at all, but I'm going to get it just so I can roll it later at the shrine of chance, I think. Bro, I swear I get jumped by these people all the time. And I don't even know what faction they're from. Yeah, I'll burn Strong Leap here just so I can get Shoulder Bash later. Let's try it. I like, see, I don't understand why things only want to not work when I'm using it. You anyway, know, I do want to get broken ankles, but I don't think I can get berserk after shrine with how I'm going to go about making this build. Uh, yeah, I can just get this now. Pressure close. Oh, this thing is nasty looking, man. I wish there was some kind of indicator when your like insanity is going up. But this is supposed to make you tweak out like crazy, so I think I should be fine. It's hard to tell with the the void zone vein things on the side of my screen. But I think Yeah, my screen is kinda of fucked. Yep. Bro, look I'm shaking already. You know like in Elden Ring when you get some kind of debuff status effect like scarlet rot or something there's a like a build-up bar that tells you how close you are to getting it they should do that for like every single tier of insanity so it goes up boom you got tier one goes up again boom tier two all the way up to what is it, like five at least that'll be some kind of indicator instead of just guessing yeah i have 18 man I can definitely get this to 100 real quick all right, there we go. Look, now that... I was just waiting for the cannonball, bro. Talk to the shrine. I do want aggressive posture, too. Oh, yeah, this is good, too. Let's go. Now I should be able to... Yep. It's... I'm pretty sure you can just swap out any talent that's not a rare but i kind of this one this is the useless one i do remember saying i'd get that just so i could swap it out there we go defiant until the end is actually such a good talent for ganks but it's <laughs> this is so stupid it's minus aura bro you you look so stupid talking about this this isn't over <laughs> like bro just shut up I'm not gonna 
I'd honestly just take the order of not saying anything. <laughs> All right, here's the deal. I've, bro, they put me in a bad server off rip. Epoch and optimization is actually just terrible. But here's the deal. I swear I wiped to some random brooder spawning on me like three different times, bro. So if I hear any type of noise that don't sound right, I'm logging. You're not cute, bro. Leave me alone. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. See what I say? What I say? Bro. Like every time, bro. You can't just be civil no more. You can't just be civil. For real. For real, it's like that. It's like that. For real. Bet. Thank you. Where's my light hook? I'm gonna bring it down here. Just so I know how much time I have. I think I am gonna... Oh wait, there's an NPC there that gives you knowledge. But I kind of want to see what that quest is about. So I don't want to just talk to her and deny it. I'm probably going to be down here later for medallions anyway, just so I can get some <laughs> some die kits. But yeah, I do want to see what that quest is about. Oh, wait. Priorities, priorities. See, look, I'm already getting distracted. <laughs> I need to be going this way. Well, I guess the ladder's right there. My OBS, I had to fix it. My screen was all buggy, but it's whatever. I got all the pre shrine things, heretics, berserk. That's an owl. That is right in the middle of where I need to go. I'm gonna try to get back up, shrine, and end it. You can't be serious. I don't understand why they made it so that a squibble and a broodlord could spawn here. Unlock these. Imagine I put it into the wrong weapon. Uh, seems legit. All right, now I can just... That's all the agility I need for this build. In my head, I have it so that I should get to 25 medium for aerial stab when I level up. That would be all for now. Glad to spend this time that I did have with all of you. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe right now to join the channel. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Stop putting mustaches on these women.